Hello everyone and welcome to VotingTechTalk.com. God, that feels good. All right, everyone. So here we've got a fellow voter asking us a question, straightforward question. Very few words, but my God, I was actually concentrating just before trying to think about my answer. Jeff, this is a question from Neil. What is stray current corrosion and what should I do to protect my boat? Simple question, well said, to the point. That's why I'm answering it, by the way. It's easy. But the answer is so tough, right? So first of all, straight current corrosion really only for most of us, remember all rules have exceptions, but for the most of us, 99.99%, what we're concerned about is the moment we connect our boats to shore power. So straight current corrosion is not something we're really worried about when we're actually on the water somewhere other than a marina. But when we come into a marina and we plug into a marina, the other boat beside us is also plugged into the marina and every boat around us is plugged in. And the one thing we have in common is that the AC grounding wire, that green wire that is part of the shore power cord is connected to a single point on the dock somewhere at the power source. Now that it's very possible that some boats have really bad paths back to ground for whatever reasons, an accident happened. It was badly wired. And that boat, it's very possible, will actually come aboard another boat to go back to shore. And so that's basically one of the biggest concerns that we all have as boat owners is that we're actually all together in a marina. And you could have inadvertently a boater beside you, a good neighbor, someone who cares and loves about their boat as much as you do, that is actually accidentally using your boat's electrical system to go back to shore. Right? We're all, effectively, all the boats that are in the water are effectively part of a cell. They're all trying to equalize each other out. And so what we end up doing when we're connected to shore power is to either have a galvanic isolator or an isolation transformer to protect our boats from other boats that might have a mishap on their boats. Only will it happen again at a marina, and it's essential, especially if you value your money, and you have a lot of underwater metals like the propellers and some propellers are extremely expensive. The propeller shaft can be extremely expensive. And then all these underwater metals like through hauls, you, you know, your rudders, all those things need to be protected. And if your boat is well protected with zincs, but the other boat beside you isn't, it's very possible that your boat will and your zincs on your boat will actually not only protect your boat, but will help protect the other boat as well. So that's a fear that we all have, and it's real. I, we get involved in those calls all the time to do surveys. So the best way to handle that is an isolation transformer or a galvanic isolator. Great question, Neil, and thanks for asking. Thanks for watching this video. Also, we appreciate the feedback. If you've got further questions or ideas on content, post them down below. Remember, sharing is caring, and that's how we all learn. And don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel right here. Subscribe. Thanks for watching.